everybody how you doing right now i'm in a place called uh in the southern taiwan place called tainan and uh taking a break after having my coffee but um originally came down here to see family and to uh take some sailing classes but as you probably can guess right now the neighbors next door are doing live fire drills i say quotes drills in the area but uh the ships are going out but classes won't be starting recently, uh, soon but they would have taken me out to uh uh go around the waters of taiwan why hot even though the neighbors next door are doing military drills and i say in large quotation marks grills drills actually yeah i should use that correct other word they're trying to grill taiwan uh the park that i'm at right now is a former Taiwanese military base they turn into a park I don't know where they move the military hardware or the personnel to but I hope they move to a better position because things can be oh. getting a little oh. 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 things can be getting a little bit shaky here I'm about a kilometer away from a place called Yongkang. I'm gonna go there to have dinner. This mask is making it a little difficult for me to breathe. I'm not an anti-mask wearer, but because I believe that um, it does help a little bit. I'm also used to living in a society where people wear masks, you know, when they have colds to minimize the spread, but that's another story. The mask situation here in Taiwan has Backed up a bit, loosened up a bit, a little bit more freedom as far as uh, going to the gym and not having to wear a mask or running or stuff like that. So that's cool. <sighs> right now it's about 31 degrees Celsius. That's about 87.1 or 2 degrees Fahrenheit. And um, I'm sweating, but I'm not afraid to sweat. So this is okay for me. I hope I stay out of sunlight here. But, um, you know, we had a visit here last week from Pelosi, Pelosi, or her nickname here is what? What is it? Uh, uh, pink, pink hot pepper, or what they just want to call it. But uh, a visit shook up the people here. No matter the situations here, people are not really 100% used to or feel at ease with the neighbors next door playing military ping pong over their heads. Uh, so this is quite shaky. Me personally, I don't think her, diff her visit actually made any difference to how the neighbors next door, what they wish to do uh, what burdens they push to press upon Taiwan, the people of this democratic nation with its own currency, military, and governance. And it also saddens me, I'm going to turn left here, to see some certain right-wing, ultra-right-wing pugnets in the states talking about how the neighbors next door will never give up their sovereignty over this democratic nation. First of all, I would like to say, I, maybe I'll call out their names later, talking to people like uh, Matt Walsh and people like that, who do a lot of, a lot of things I, they talk about I do support, but do a lot of right-wing pundit promoting. A lot of things they talk about I can agree with, but what he doesn't understand are people like him. They don't understand the history of Taiwan or the history of the people who 
the group who currently governed, governs the neighbor, the land next door, is history. Is history. The neighbors next door say that they have rights to take Taiwan back. Show Hui. Show Hui, Taiwan. The first of all, Taiwan has never been under their governance. The government I'm talking about. I mean, it's just much like the situation where, you know, government, governments will say, we have right to this land because our ancestors had rights to it. Well, that's getting blown up like popcorn, I guess. Also sad thing is a lot of these foreign nationals living next door, I don't wonder if they really took time to read in the Chinese language. And, uh, Okay, how you want to call them, the written characters. Have they taken the time to actually read it and understand it? A lot of the foreign pugnets, or the term that people like to call them are shills, they may be able to speak the language, but do they understand the history? Now, I do. I've taken formal education, not only in the Western world, but also study the history of both regions within mainland China and Taiwan. I went to school there, took tests, read the books as a foreign national. So this is the difference in my situation. I'm quite unique because as being an African-American who understands how history can put a whole society under the eyes of the world are being submerged in inequalities. I don't like to see history of this type being repeated again. And no matter how much whataboutism you put on it, it doesn't clear up the facts. And unfortunately, most powerful nations keep repeating the same punishment upon people who do not have enough of financial, political, or military power to defend themselves. And that's happening all over the place. And we see it happening right now in places like Ukraine, where uh, Russia is saying they want to take Ukraine back. Back, yes. But is it really all Russia's problem? Did they do this for a reason? You look at the history and be factual. NATO, NATO was pressing them. And it looked like NATO broke a promise. Because when the Ukraine finally got its independence in the way, the leaders of NATO made a promise that they wouldn't expand. So keeping it real, NATO has to hold some responsibility for this situation that's now going on in Ukraine. And Putin is jumping on it like a hot potato, I guess. No, excuse me, jumping on it, not jumping off it. So it's a lot of things that happen to, huh, at this time, happen to take place, right? Right after the Winter Olympics, Putin, you know, after meeting up with uh, Xi Jinping in, in China, all of a sudden set his, let his dogs out on Ukraine. I'm in the, I can't prove it though, but I'm in the belief that uh, Xi Jinping was led into the situation and knew what was going to happen. So now we got Xi Jinping and Putin facing off against the world in many ways. Wheat exports coming out of Ukraine is being held up and affecting the markets. Oh, here comes a very big black dog in coming towards me. I hope he sees that I'm a brother. <laughs> oh, nevertheless, um, this is the scary thing. This is a scary thing. Now, I'm not gonna go over there where that dog is because that dog looks big. But, uh, oh, oh, 
不能猫相哈，哇，很漂亮，哦，哦 ，OK， 呃，好好好 ，Let me keep walking. That dog is kind of big to me, but he said the dog is not does it looks mean, but it's not that mean. But I'm not going to wait to get any get any bites on me. But let me continue. So I'm sure. That Putin and Xi Jinping had a little meeting there and say, "Hey, you do this, I do that." They're teaming up against the world, I guess. This is my belief from reading, not only from the Western media, uh, uh, watching watching uh, YouTube videos, but reading local Chinese media, talking to my former classmates in China, who would rather have peace. Because this war is going to put a lot of people all over the world in some economic stress. But history, history, like I said just now, a lot of powerful nations they repeat the same unfortunate stress upon people with less powerful, financial, financially powerful, or militarily. Powerful, and it keeps repeating itself over and over again. And once again, that if you go back in history, even from the ancient times, looking at how China did send envoys here, they really never did control the government. Now, if you want to, if you have a comment, you can、uh, comment below. But if you really want to have a mature comment. Uh, DM, DM me and、uh, bring your receipts, and I'll talk to you personally, and will not edit you. And I bring up history and dates, okay? Because if we have this situation, what countries, nations are we going to take back our ancestors' nations? Well, when will Russia talk about taking back Alaska, which the United States did pay for? <laughs> But moving right along,、um, bring your receipts. But、uh, this is something that's putting the people here on their toes. But they're still trying to live their lives as normally as they can. People sitting here in the park, relaxing. Oh, yeah. 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 Also, get it off my mind because this is my home, and I respect the people here, and I thank them for the opportunities they have given me. Okay, let me finish up here.、Uh, what else could be said? I mean, just too much. You see, China always made it a chess-saving effort to say that they have never taken over or done with other Western nations. Has done to them. Ba Guo Lian Jun. I forgot what it's called in English when China talked about their 100 what, years of、uh, humiliation. Western nations did bad on them, and that's true. United States, Britain, France—they all hurt China very badly. To a large extent, also Japan. China has attacked independent nations. Look at history. Who am I talking about? Xinjiang, Western Turkestan. That's suppressing of Uyghurs, the Uyghurs, stuff like that. I, I can talk more about that later. Maybe I can bring a friend of mine on, maybe to talk about this. Who you guys probably know. And it's really painful. To see this type of history being repeated again, China is becoming more and more powerful, which feel it deserves. Africa is becoming China's China manufacturing and investment for raw minerals and stuff like that, and a lot of those nations are put in some very awkward situations. And a lot of these situations, awkward situations, they're being placed in is because of Western nations. 
my friends in Africa say that China is giving things to them or offering opportunities to them with no strings attached. Yeah, I got it. People do desperate or things that are logical at, of the, at the time when they're hungry. When they see the rest of the world surpassing them, it kind of puts them in a situation to get ahead by any means necessary. And that's the reality of the world, right? So, it's a hardship, I guess, in a lot of ways. If the neighbors next door do take a big step over here, it will not be a friendly fight. To be honest, if Taiwan and the neighbors next door got together, put their manufacturing base together and power, knowledge and education together, my goodness. They can really make a lot of money. Huh? But there always wants to be a leader, huh? Well, look, guys, I'm going to shut down here for a moment. Maybe get a drink of water. Uh, sweating. It's pretty cool here. What? 31 degrees Celsius? I think that's pretty okay for me. Gives me a good time to sweat and clear the pores <laughs> and uh, look guys if you can I know you know on this channel I'll talk about some serious stuff and the channel's not all that sexy and also for people of my demographics who are in a situation like I am now it's hard for us to get the word out so please subscribe and pass this along because we do have a lot more common than we think so thanks a lot for joining me here. And remember to stay strong, safe, and healthy wherever you are in the world.